Hey guys, thanks again for stopping by to check out our new video inventory update. We have both fresh and saltwater videos to show you today. Here we have got some really nice fish that just came in all over the world. We import from 17 different countries. Uh, here we've got a juvenile Quran angel. He's about four inches. Good uh, community fish. Does well in uh, medium to larger size tanks. Uh, powder blue tang there. Really nice fish on him. He's about five inches. Uh, and there's an orange peel angel, a uh, hybrid variety of a lemon peel. Pretty cool fish. He's about four inches as well. Also got a bicolor there. And you can see a tomato clown and an azure damsel in the tank as well. Here we've got a nice green bird wrasse. He's about six inches. Another good community fish. Semi-aggressive, um, really smaller fish. So you don't want to stick them with anything real small and crabs and shrimp. Not a good reef choice. Um, some nice yellow tangs. Medium size on those guys. Um, also, uh, medium size, medium large uh, nasal tang there, and a coral beauty. Uh, here we've got a smaller uh, Ariga butterfly, he's about uh, three and a half inches or so. Also got a nice small flame angel there, and a fox face, rabbit fish. Um, he's about three inches on the rabbit fish, three to four inches, another good community fish. Do, those guys will do good in reef tank to help keep um, nuisance algae under control. This tank, we got some more uh, newer yellow tangs. The lions there, a striped grouper, and a, I'm sorry, a blue striped, blue line snapper, and a uh, painted parrotfish. We got blue damsels in this tank, great starter fish. Um, good for newer tanks, and they will do okay in smaller or nano type environments. Here we got Fiji blue devils, another nice uh, starter fish. These guys, you can see the yellow on their uh, dorsal fins and the bottoms on their bellies there. Nice fish. We've got some nice medium sized black and white heniocus here. Nice butterfly, does well with other fish. Non aggressive, um, not recommended for a reef tank because they will eat polyps. There's a gold striped maroon clown, medium size on that guy. He's about uh, three inches. Yellow eye coal tank, uh, really good algae control fish also in a reef tank. There's some more yellow tanks in there. And a blue fin angel. Here we have got a uh, copper banded butterfly, excellent for aptasia control if you have a problem with that. Uh, good community fish. Up there is another uh, fox face. Here we've got a blue spotted box fish, uh, trunk fish, very cool. Uh, these guys will do okay in a reef tank or uh, in a mild um, fish only tank. They don't, they don't take a lot of abuse so you want to keep them with other uh, non-aggressive fish. Um, hiding on the rocks there we got a blonde nasal tank from Bali, very nice fish. He's about three and a half, four inches. Uh, another good community fish, tomato clown squirting around there, and a uh, half black angel, and another nice powder blue there. Over here we've got uh, Misbar Oscillaris, tank rays Oscillaris clowns, there's some more yellow tangs. Uh, Eagle Eye Angel, in, uh, I'm sorry, a Mellis Angel in there. Um, door, another Dwarf Angel species, these guys only get about uh, three to four inches. Um, they'll do okay in a reef tank or fish only environments. Here we've got a nice uh, smaller uh, raccoon butterfly, uh, another good community fish, uh, not recommended for a reef tank though as they really eat corals, polyps, things like that. Another yellow tang, we got some um, nice saddleback clown, tank gray saddleback clowns, another one of the parrot fish there. Over here, we got lots of yellow tangs in as you can see. Uh, tomato clown, medium sized tomato there. We got a little bursa trigger, he's about an inch and a half, two inches, very cool fish. Semi-aggressive on that guy. Um, there's a red-tailed file fish hiding up underneath the rock there. Um, Non-aggressive, do well in a community tank, and they can also go in more aggressive environments, um, as long as nothing can not eat them, obviously. Here, more yellow tanks, there we've got a midnight angel, black knox angel, very cool fish, another dwarf angel variety. And some scooter bunnies hanging on the bottom, good reef tank fish. Up here, a real nice uh, red sea uh, uh, Desdardini sailfin tang. Uh, he's about uh, three and a half inches uh, front to back. There we got a lemon peel angel. Uh, there's a purple queen anthias hiding on there. Excellent for the reef tank. They like to uh, hide out, as you can see, do good in the reef environment. And a uh, neon dotty back there, tank raised. We've got some real nice neon velvet damsels that came in. These guys are another good uh, starter fish, good uh, semi kind of aggressive, you want to be careful, a little bit careful what you put them with, you don't put them with any, uh, anything real delicate, like butterflies or something, but otherwise nice fish, they get about uh, four inches when they're full grown, these guys are about an inch and a half, two inches right now. We've got a nice potter's angel, another dwarf angel variety, nice fish, he's about, he's a good size, he's about four, four and a half inches, real nice fish there. And another one of the blonde nasals there. Uh, some three striped damsels down here, another good starter fish. 
And up here we got some real nice uh, smaller Huma Huma triggers. These guys are about two, two and a half inches. Again, semi-aggressive, good with uh, groupers, lions, things like that. Uh, dragon wrasse, juvenile dragon wrasse, very cool fish. He's about three and a half inches in length right now. And they get about six to eight inches when they're full grown. Very cool fish though. Uh, smaller black bull tan lion there. And here we got a nice bicolor angel uh, hanging on the rock there. And an eagle eye, there's the eagle eye I mentioned before. He's uh, gonna be shy. Both of those guys are excellent in uh, fish only or tank. And for inverts, we got some nice corals and frags in. Run through those. And some nice uh, flower pot there. We got some nice Duncans. Sorted zoos. There's been acros in here as well. Potensis, maze brain there. You can see the cordia in the back there. Uh, some real nice flower pots. And pagoda cup. Beautiful anemones. We got uh, condylactus, long tentacles, sea bays all came in. We've also got a couple of mini mat. Oh, there's one mini maxi carpet there. Uh, some nice cleaner packs. We got uh, astrea snails, margarita snails, uh, red and blue legged hermits, and nasaria snails all hanging on this tank. Excellent for keeping the uh, tank clean, algae control, and detritus control. Here we got some uh, real nice mandarin gobies. I got uh, four or five of those guys that came in. Uh, sand surfing stars, we got coral banded shrimp there. A couple of those guys, some real nice uh, bangai cardinals. About an inch and a half on those. These guys do great in a reef tank or in a fish tank where there's nothing that's gonna harass them. Uh, blue linkia star, you can see, and chocolate chip stars. Got a strawberry pseudochromis here. Real nice uh, cleaner shrimp. All these guys are good for, for a reef tank as well. We've got a zebra cat shark. Very cool. He's only about uh, four or five inches. Real nice uh, Hawaiian feather dusters. There's another cleaner shrimp there. And some uh, nice seahorses as well. You can see that one hiding out in the feather duster there. Emerald crabs. Uh, let's see if there's one. Emerald crabs, good for uh, algae control in the reef tank. Some purple uh, debilious lobsters, there's one there. The coral bandage shrimp. We got some nice fiddler crabs, blue and red fiddler crabs that came in. Very nice. Over here we got some electric orange and electric blue uh, hermits. Good size in those. The shells are about an inch and a half. Yellow watchman gobies hanging out. Another good uh, nano fish. And also got a real nice marble cat shark hanging out with the stingrays here. You can see him there. He's about uh, about a foot, maybe a little more than a foot right now. And also uh, there he is, a barracuda, very cool predator fish. Uh, these guys, he's about uh, six inches now. They get roughly uh, two feet in a large enough tank. Uh, very uh, extreme predator. These guys will eat virtually anything they can fit in their mouth. And our stingrays are also doing well. Alright guys, if there's anything you like, give us a call, 414-546-2201, we'd be happy to put on hold for you, and in just a second we'll take a look at the freshwater. Alright guys, taking a look at our new freshwater, we got over $5,000 worth of beautiful discus that came in, we got over 120 different fish, we have a wonderful variety here, we got cobalts, we got super reds, uh, goldens, all different varieties. You can see it's beautiful. These guys are all, these ones in front of now are roughly two to three inches each. Um, all came in looking really good. There's some pigeon bloods in there. Also got some E nose, elephant nose. You can see one hanging out there. Good size nose, guys, about six inches. Some more discus. More discus than we've ever had. I, more discus than anybody's got in the city. These are just absolutely fabulous. Snake skins. You can see one there. Just beautiful. There's some more of those elephant nose there. And a few more of the discus that are hiding out at the moment. But you can see one there. Just beautiful. You guys got to come and take a look at these. These are just fabulous. Also got some really nice uh, guppies here. They're pink multi colors. Great uh, community fish. Uh, some nice freshwater eels. Here we got a beautiful mix of uh, dwarf grommies. There's fires, cobalts, 
Uh, all different kinds in here. Real nice, uh, great. These are dwarf crowning. This is about all they do. They get about two and a half, three inches. Um, real nice fish. They're great in the community tank. Uh, here we've got um, cracking loaches. These guys are very cool and very popular for us. These are a uh, algae eater, stream fish. They like to be in a community tank. Um, real not real picky. They do well with pretty much anybody. Eat algae, help keep things clean. And they only get about uh, three inches, four inches, so they're not going to get real big like some of the other Placo varieties do. We've got platinum green tiger barbs. Real nice, uh, good starter fish. Um, Semi aggressive community fish. The one would probably put them with like angels or something with real long fins, but other than that, they will do well with pretty much anybody. Again, if there's something that you like, give us a call, 414-546-2201. We'll have you happy to put it on hold for you for 24 hours. Be sure to check out our website as well. Here we've got some, uh, the fishfactoryonline.com. Here we've got some real nice um, blue zebra angels. Very unique. These guys are, oh, roughly half dollar size in the bodies, maybe a little bit bigger than that. Very cool fish. Not one you see very often as well with the blue in them. Um, red wag platties here. Another good starter fish, great uh, for the community tank. Jelly bean parrots, these guys are we got green, gold, uh, purple, orange. Let's see, and these guys are uh, a good semi aggressive community fish. They will usually go okay in a community tank or a, a more aggressive tank. They'll kind of hold their own. Here we got violet multicolored guppies, another nice uh, variety here. These are all males. Again, they're excellent for smaller tanks. We got regular green tiger barbs here, real nice. Good uh, starter fish as well, very hardy. Uh, iridescent sharks, medium iridescent sharks, these guys are about four to five inches. Very popular as well. And up here, some real nice uh, silver lyre tail mollies. Uh, another good uh, community fish, these guys are about three, two and a half inches or so. Some more really nice eels. Uh, here we've got rainbow platys. These guys have the blue with the red tails on them. Real nice fish. Uh, another good community fish. Do well in any tank, 10 gallons and up. Uh, in this tank, we've got some, there you go, uh, tiger shoving those catfish. Uh, these guys are about uh, 4 inches at the moment, but they do get big. They get 18 inches in a big enough tank, and they will eat whatever they can fit in their mouth. Uh, here we got marigold wag platys. Another nice uh, platy variety. These guys are pretty good size, two, th two and a half, three inches on these guys. Pretty good ones. Um, and these will do well also in a community tank with uh, pretty much anybody. Ten gallon, ten gallon tanks and up do perfect. Here we got nice tiger barbs, medium sized tiger barbs. Another good starter fish, semi aggressive. Uh, again, I wouldn't put them with like angels or something like that. But otherwise, they do okay with most of the fish. We've got some monstrous uh, angel fish, assorted varieties. Most of these look like they're marbles with the silver in there too. Um, these guys are, are are big. They're four inches at least from from nose to the base of the tail. Really nice fish. Small uh, red tiger oscars. These guys are about three inches now, and it's mostly you no know, oscars. They get about a foot when they're full grown. Good predatory fish. Here we've got, um, these are pineapple Mickey Mouse swords. These are a little bit different variety. You can see the Mickey Mouse head on their tails there. Kind of looks like a Mickey Mouse on its side. Um, good community fish as well. Do well in uh, in any tank. Uh, they'll usually go okay in newer tanks as well, but very popular with the kids is the Mickey Mouse, obviously. And let's see, we've also got, here we go. These are uh, center blue angels, real nice uh, blue angels here. These guys are about an uh, inch and a half, two inches body size of nose. Uh, marble sailfin molly. This is a variety that's new to us. These guys are kind of similar to a Dalmatian, but a little bit different. You can see some of them have kind of a goldish color to them. Uh, very cool fish. Excellent community fish. Do well in uh, smaller tanks as well. And those are live bearers. Live bearers. They love live babies. Um, eels there. Uh, nice red fin tinfoil barbs. These guys are about five inches. Really cool fish. As you can see, they like to school, so they do well in larger tanks where they can kind of clump up together. Uh, nice, uh, nice fish to add some movement and color to the tank. And here we've got um, gold tuck swords. Another nice uh, sword fin variety. Sword tail. I'm sorry. Here we got green. 
uh, hyphen green quarry cats, uh, excellent bottom feeder, they do well in pretty much with anybody in the community tank, do a good job keeping the bottom clean. Small neons, very popular fish, these guys are oh, three quarters of an inch roughly, um, and they also like to be in schools or groups. Here we've got some uh, Raphael cats hanging out down there, you can see those are a pretty unique fish. One you don't see real, real often, but they uh, they do well in a community tank, not aggressive, and they'll be fine with pretty much anybody. Small bottle sharks here, these guys are only uh, two inches or so, and they get about uh, six, eight inches when they're full grown. Real nice community fish. Some more of those real nice uh, large angels there. Uh, small clown loaches, these guys are about two and a half inches or so. Excellent bottom feeder, they also help keep control of snails, and those are fine with pretty much anybody, not aggressive at all. we got some... Um, Albino Tiger Oscars, nice fish here, same as the other guys, they get about a foot when they're full grown and they are uh, carnivores, so they, they get through their mouth. Male uh, Rosy Barbs, came in real nice, these guys are about uh, two inches. Um, another good community fish, excellent starter tank, great for the kids um, and newer tanks, they do real well. And some nice uh, Veil Angels, assorted Veil Angels here. And in the cichlid room, we got in some real nice Rummy Nose Tetras. Those. There we go. Rummy nose. Uh, real nice community fish. Do great in schools. Uh, love live planted tanks. Um, very nice fish. These guys came in looking really good. And I think that's in here. The only other thing I got to show you, I believe, is the larger discus. They came in beautiful as well. Um, here we go. A couple different varieties in here. These guys are a little bit bigger. These are about uh, three to four inch probably on most of these guys. Uh, there's some cobalts in there, some red turquoise it looks like. Um, and these guys, again, uh, do well in a warmer tank. They are community fish. They're not aggressive um, and will be fine with uh, most community tetras, rams, things like that. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out. If there's anything you need, give us a call. 414-546-2201. Thanks a lot and have a great day.